Hey y'all, um, out here at the World of Wheels uh, show in Chattanooga, and uh, Holcomb uh, hooked me up with uh, with uh, the Udells, Richard and Paige Udell, and uh, they own the Timeless Hot Rod. Um, now you know we do a lot of stuff in parking lots and some nice cars, but this is this is beyond all that. Um, this is this car was built for shows, and uh, that's what it does. And it's got some really cool features, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful car. So they agreed to meet me out here this morning, actually before the show opened, and uh, let me do a feature video on it. So uh, let's check this thing out. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing Good morning. just fine. Good morning. Um, tell me a little bit about the hot rod. It's been in a lot of magazines and all, but what's it based on? It's based on a 1932 Ford. We have basically recreated uh, by hand um, what looks to be a 32 Ford, which was the genesis of all, or the beginnings of all hot rodding. Right. All steel car, and there is about 20,000 hours of labor involved in the car. It's powered by a 392 cubic inch 1957 uh, Chrysler Hemi, Hillborn fuel injection. <clears throat> Tremec six-speed transmission. Everything on the car is one-off. There's 3,251 machined and or plated pieces. The name of the car is Timeless, and it is, um, it has six, it's, the, the whole idea of the car <coughs> is the hourglass, which signifies that the car is, you know, timeless, timeless from right. 1932 to the 21st century. There's right. 62 um, either obvious or hidden uh, hourglasses throughout the car. Wow, that's cool. And then uh, you'll notice too, folks, that the color is not exactly red or black. Uh, <laughs> you were telling me, how, how many how many swaths did you look at before you decided on that? Well, we didn't look at it. We actually painted test, test panels. We painted 160 test panels to get this color. <clears throat> we're from Montana, and we worked with DuPont to... Um, developed the color. It's called Montana Mint and it's now available through DuPont but this was kind of our brainchild to come to this color and it was just minute changes and variations and mixing. It's got an awful lot of pearl in it and it's a it's a really really pretty unique color. Yes it does. It's, it, I mean it's very elegant looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah very uh, it still pops, but yet, you know what I'm saying? It's not pleasing. that. Right, it's exactly. Pleasing, soothing, yeah, soothing is the word. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. That's yeah. what We've I was looking for. We've had a lot of adjectives described right, for right, it. Right, and, uh, All right. Mint julep on. So. <laughs> well, I would think that some people, you know, they don't like it, but, you know, because it's one of those colors. It's not but, red you know, or black. Mo most do, and for most sure. men. Most yeah. men love it. Right. So the, the color draws you to the car, and then people start to stand around and look and say, Wow, look at this thing. That's exactly so. what I was just doing, folks. I've been here about 20 minutes, and I've just been in awe of this car. You Just just to take it all in. It holds you can't, your attention. It does. You just it keep sure looking does. and finding things. Right. Well, let's get to looking at it then. Richard, tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about it. You say it's got a 1950 Hemi in it. That's just uh, stat static from then? It's a 1957. Um, it, it came out of a Chrysler 300C. And um, as you can see... The, uh, uh, there is just an abundance of chrome. You can see little things, like here's the hourglasses oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And here, if you look at the valve cover fasteners, they're also machined in no the opposite kidding. direction. Yeah, sure enough. Here's the motor mounts. Oh, These are okay. in the shape of an hourglass. All of your injection stacks are in the shape of an hourglass. There is a machined fuel rail that is in the shape of an hourglass. Um, back of the radiator, there's hourglasses. There's just every place you look in the car, you will see hourglasses, Satellite. badges. Satellites. Some of them very subtle. Right. And one of the other things that is interesting to mention is that you see no door latches on this car. <clears throat> These are the same <clears throat> magnets that they use in the GM assembly plants. And this is all an electronic door fastening system. Oh, you're kidding. So you see no latches, right. everything is clean. The interior of the car was done by um, Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Interiors. He's the man, isn't he? And, and uh, he just did an absolutely extravagant job with the interior of the car. Um, some little things that I can show you, for instance, uh, there is LED backlighting in the car. Um, all of the... Everything is electronic. The, 
the thing that I just did was a master fuel shut off. Yeah, now let's stop there just for a second, because you all you did was hit one of those strips of steel uh, aluminum down there. Yes, yes, it's all magnetic. That triggers the the whole uh, electronic system in the car. Starting and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, and then. It, mm -hmm. Holy cow, folks! What are, you know? What I'm saying I'm I'm a little overwhelmed right now, guys. So bear with me. Now that dashboard, that's special too. That was designed by NASA, right? Yes, there's three of the engineers, and it just so happened this morning I've got a glitch in the computer, but but it was designed by three of the engineers from NASA that that uh, designed the uh, space shuttle. Hi, hi, hi. And you say it runs on Windows Seven? Yes, yes. It's a full Windows Seven application. Wow. And guess what? If you just be patient, it may come on. I've I I. Well, you got two things going here, Richard. First, it was designed by NASA, and it's a Windows product. So <laughs> the fact that it, it's screwing up really is no surprise, okay? Because I think everybody's <laughs> I accustomed it was with pop that. Pop on there for a minute, but and it will. I, sure. I just have to toy with it a minute. Well, like I said, it's it's Windows product. What do you expect? Wow. How many horsepower is that motor? 635 horsepower. And if you will notice, even in the front, you don't see any fans. Everything is, this is all one-off. Every piece of this car was one-off. If you notice, um, underneath the car, you don't sing, see a single fastener. There's not a fastener visible on this car any place. Tell me, if we'll start with the front end, tell me about those headlights. Those are custom designed, right? Those are all one-off. Um, they're hand machined. Uh, one young man in in uh, Coleman, Alabama, did the did the light cans. Another one in Appleton, Wisconsin, did the actual machining on the lights for us. And uh, if you look at the front, it looks like an original old drop front axle. Sure does. But if you come closer, it's a full independent suspension, as you can see in that mirror. That's a full independent front suspension. Sure enough. As well as independent rear suspension. And you had to engineer all that for the car? Um, one of the engineers from um, <clears throat> General Motors ran a CAD program and designed the, the uh, front suspension for us. So you had people from all over the United States working on this car for you? We did. We did. We That's had... about hot riding, though, right? I mean, we couldn't do it on our own. It all takes a little help in hand. I'm sure these guys got paid, but you got to, it's not more than the money. you got to get them to commit to a project like this to, to get what you want. You well, know? the three young people that worked on this car, um, two of them had some personal problems, and they got so involved in this car that they were able to get their personal problems totally resolved. Right. And uh, they're productive members, fully productive members of society now. But they were excellent, excellent fabricators and body men. And they had great ideas. Young people um, in the hot rodding industry have, have, have the, the question, why not, instead of we can't do something. They're the innovators. That's how it works. That's right. And I see you got center brakes in the rear. Yes. That's just beautiful. That, the rear end, if you see the trailing arms, are right. in the shape of an hourglass. We machined all of the of the rear end. The rear end pod is the only thing that was that was uh, uh, purchased. Everything else was machined. Look at that. And when a car sits up, you see even the drive line is aligned on a on a vertical and horizontal basis. Wow. All the Folks, I'm just going slow here. Look at, and you know he was talking about no screws. And then the exhaust is is in the shape again of an hourglass, and there it is a one piece unit. You cannot bend four inch oval tubing like that. So there is 200 welds in that exhaust. Yeah, because that is, that's not round. It's it's oval, oval. four inch oval. Mm -hmm. And it's in the shape of an hourglass. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Richard, hot riders are crazy. That's all I got to say. Man, alive. So did you start with a piece of paper? Uh, most of this was ideas in our head. Um, and then we had multiple drawings, uh, sketches, and, and so on and so forth. But um, uh, it started as a, as a concept of my wife and mine, and, and uh, then got reduced to paper, and then 
got re-engineered and redone and so on and so forth. And then one fellow builds something and says, well, gee, let's do this. Sure. And so that creates another idea. Right. And then even like the lighting inside the dash, Steve came up with the ideas in the seats. And I said, well, gosh, can we put a couple more in the uh, underneath the, the dash panel to shine on? And right. then they got and came in with the extra ones on the side panels and in the trunk, and it just kind of expands. Progresses, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 You start but with you a gotta, basic idea and it grows. trust in, in the fellow doing the work. That's it, and, yeah. Um, uh, and little things, little detail points. If you notice the three, the other theme of this car is the three bars. You'll see three bars on top of the running board, three bars oh, underneath yeah. the running board. Sure enough. Um, and the three bars. Hinge, the hood hinge. The hood yeah. hinge is, is again the three bars. Oh, and yeah. all of the hood and trunk on this are linear, electronic linear actuators. That means they go up and down with a button. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For us yeah. lay people. Right. Yeah. That's a right. fancy yeah. way to say it's all button controlled, mm -hmm. folks. Yeah. And look at the little lights over there. Those are all the little this. buttons under the. That's what I wonder. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. We, we need an instruction card. Sure enough. Well, I mean, there's going to be the obvious question. I probably know the answer to it, but I ask anyhow. Have you ever driven it? Do we have what? Have you ever driven it? Yes. Yes. Really? Yeah. We had the car running about uh, three days ago. I have not. I've driven it inside a building. I don't want right. to take it out until we get done. Uh, competing with it on the show circuit, but right. it, uh, it everything is functional. These cars, in order to compete good, like it this, smells good. right, right, yeah. have to be fully functional. No, I figured it was, but you can just tell from looking at, it, like you said, it's been driven in a building, and uh, you know, I mean, that's what the car's about. Um, it's it a show its car. It's a purpose. Yeah, it's right. Well, I look it's at it a purpose. little bit differently. When you there's there's people that that have paintings on their walls. This is what I consider a piece of automotive art. I agree. I agree with you 100. percent And uh, you know because the people that do the work are artists, and in the end, it's about pleasing the eye. Yeah. Whatever yes. art but is, we, it's about but pleasing the eye. We can do it if we want to. Right. And that's yes. the nice way to. Be. Right. That's right. That's the nice way to. Be. Right. Right. It's a choice that we make. Right. So do you all have a another project in mind? Um, we're always thinking. Um, we kind of do one project at a time, and we're still having fun with this car. Another little once, thing once that a I'll. Hot rod or always a hot rod. It never gets you know, out. When you graduate right. '63, yeah, you've yeah. always got something. That's cooking, right. And sure, so. sure. And if you look closely at the tail lights, even there's an hourglass etched in the center of the tail lights. See this small oh, hourglass? Oh yeah, yeah. Sure enough, it's in there. Does that does that light up any when it when you brake or anything? Brake lights come yeah, on. Yeah, 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 I've got yeah. it on just a display mode. Now. And I love center exhaust. I just think that. And then it's molded in there, Frenched in there, and that's just beautiful. And if you notice, folks, right below that exhaust, that little dot's a backup camera. So I mean, this car is. It was done in February of 2010 and debuted at the uh, Detroit Autorama. <clears throat> um, so it's not been done all that long, but. That's the whole thing. Is it's an old hot rod with all the uh, latest technology. It's it's all brought up to date. And I, you know, I mean, I was talking to Richard and, and Paige, and that's the theme of it. Is that um, it's all been tied in together. It's timeless. It doesn't matter if you like advanced new stuff or if you like the old hot rod stuff. Um, this car's got something for you. It's just beautiful. And you can see how those rear suspension parts he was talking about are are in hourglass form. Man. And if you notice, there's no fasteners. You don't see a fastener. Not a place. one. You don't see the not fasteners. a screw. Not a nothing. The underside of the car is probably as pretty, if not prettier, than the top I agree. side. Of it's the car. just as clean and just as smooth. That's for and sure. The exhaust just comes out of the headers and goes back into the trunk. It hangs. It, it, there's no there's see, no there. hangers oh. to the exhaust. There's wow. no steering knuckles. Wow. You That's won't another see a steering thing that knuckle. is interesting about this car. If you notice, we have devised. A system where you don't have any steering apparatus visible. It goes down the firewall through the frame into the rack and pinion. There's no it's steering. Electronic. Right? No, no, it's, it's, it's mechanical, mechanical it's driven, but it's but it's hidden. It's hidden. It's fully hidden. You say it's chain driven? Isn't it chain the, the yeah. it's the steer clear? It's gear driven. Gear driven, gear driven. excuse me, gear driven. Sorry. Uh, That's my No, you're all right. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, you know quite a bit about it, it's obvious. Man. I don't see another set of headers like that either. I would think this car's got a, a bunch of unique pieces. That, and see how the uh, spark plug wires are hardwired. I don't know if you notice that. There is a uh, week's hmm. work in just getting all those. If you notice, they're all perfectly parallel. Yeah. You've never seen a Hemi um, set up like that. No, sir, I have not. No, I haven't. Man. 
I like the, uh, believe it or not, I like the uh, armrest. To me, the way those flow and how they did that, how Holcomb did that, it's just, you know, it it's like the rest of the car. It just, well, it just so your fits. Your eye never stops. Yeah, no. Everything curves and moves and rolls and, and your eye is never broken. Your vision is never stopped. Even in the seat, there's no square corners in the seats, in the trunk anywhere it just it flows like the running boards and and that was all steve's concept as well. all right that's what you were saying you went in there with some ideas but holcomb said you know just let me go at it and you turned them loose on it that's true i had a lot of faith in 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 steve holcomb and um he wanted to create something for us that had a part of him and he certainly did that and he right. did it very well right yeah. No, you did it very well, brother. Um, well, John both y'all. Well. Yeah. Whoever, if they, yeah. I mean, the, main, the fellow the that was in charge, the the, the fellow that was really in charge of 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 putting this project together for us with our ideas and so on was a gentleman by the name of John Watts. He lives in Lake Placid, Florida, and um, very extremely creative man. I have known him for ten years. He was a friend first, and then we got involved in this project, and he was able to take a concept of pages or a concept of mine and then direct himself and others to make that into reality. Right. He's mm. not a he's not a uh, you know a big builder doesn't have a big shop. I mean this was basically built in in single stall garages. It's amazing. Yeah, because Holcomb's place isn't no big manufacturing joint either. No. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. It's really nice because it's got the hot rod atmosphere about it. Going and hanging out there is like really cool. You know what I'm saying? Cool cars sitting around and all that. But, you know, well, tell folks, uh, where else can they see this car yet this year? This car will be um, next weekend in Shreveport, Louisiana, the fall, uh, 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 two weeks after that in New Orleans, then Dallas, Texas, and then. Louisville, and then we're taking it to the West Coast, and it will be in Spokane, Washington. It'll be in Portland, Oregon, Boise, Idaho, Salt Lake City, Utah, and then we're doing a big feature with the car uh, in conjunction with the Canadians up in Vancouver, British Columbia. Okay. And um, you asked me a little bit earlier about <laughs> about our next project. We have such a commitment to a car like this that generally is what we've done in the past is each of the cars that we've done before this. We have had international show car champions uh, that we have been involved with, and each one has ended up in a, with a collector. And that's what will probably happen with this car. When a collector sees this car and wants this to be the flagship of his collection, then it will move on to that form of an art piece right. and we'll do something else. Wow. That's cool. I like that idea, too. I see what you're saying. When the right buyer comes along, yeah. then that would... And it's would... not always about money. It's about the right person. No, I agree. You know, who's going to do it. with it right? Yeah. yeah. Who's going to do what you want done with the car? Yeah. And, and, and hopefully in this country. And it's, but, yeah. And it's not yeah. even a, a, a situation of time. Just when somebody comes to you and says, when you're ready to sell, let me know. Then that gets the creative juices yeah. flowing that I would sell this car to this guy. Mm -hmm. And he's yeah. got the money to buy it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what, what do we want to do next? Very neat. Folks, I appreciate it. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Your car is cool. You all are just awesome. Thank you so much. Thank and thank you for having us. We, we hope that you've enjoyed our little visit. No, any, any anything else you want to put out there before we go? No, it's just been our pleasure, and we hope people enjoy it. That's the whole thing. We are car people. We like cars, and we like car people. So uh -huh. we're uh, uh, that that's where it's at for us, and we have a great time showing the car and taking it around and and enjoying the camaraderie with all of our friends. Sure. I sure understand that, right? That's what I love doing, yeah. too, is it's just, fun. yeah, hanging it's out fun. with hot rodders and seeing Well, we've met people all over the country. We, we get calls weekly. I was in the bathroom and got a phone call from, right. <laughs> from, from another car guy right. wanting to know how the show is and what's going on. Right. So, yeah, we have a connection. Sure. Cool. All right. Well, again, folks, I really appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Folks, there you go. Um, I hope you've uh, appreciated it. You know, this isn't my normal uh, four or five minute long video, um, but I just thought the car, the subject matter, deserved it. So, anyways, from the world of wheels in uh, Chattanooga, that's Timeless, the hot rod. Thanks so much. Look at that. I want to give you all a shot of that yeah. dash working. See, in the right side, screens or demos through that's the rear view. Right. And then it goes to music and the GPS. Oh, I got you. And then it's attacking the speedometer over here on this side? Mm -hmm. I believe it is. It has 1,700 miles on it? No. No.
guess the computer's messed up again. I don't know. Is that what it says? <laughs> this looks like is what it says. Looks like 100 and... Maybe it's ours. <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Anyways. You know what? Uh, I'm not going to reset it. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm getting in the way of them judges. Anyways, folks, I just want to put a clip in here of that dash working for you.